Shalom, friends. This is an urgent moment of prayer. Israel right now is under attack. There are over a hundred, 350 ballistic missiles have been launched by Iran to Israel. They are going to be hitting soon. That's right. 350 ballistic missiles fired by Iran at Israel. There are a few falls that are being reported already in Israel. The attack is all over Israel. This is the beginning of a massive war in the Middle East. There is no doubt Israel is going to strike hard against Iran. Who knows what this escalation can mean? But what we do know is we know this, that tomorrow begins Rosh Hashanah. It's the day that we crown God King, Melech HaOlam, the King of the world. He who sits in the heavens laughs at the plan of man. This year, 5785, is a year in which God is going to show and has been already showing his providential hand protecting Israel. But we need to pray right now for Israel, for every Israeli. There was also a terrorist attack in Tel Aviv. Ten Israelis were shot by terrorists who got off the light train. We know that um, two Israelis are dead. A couple are in critical condition. And so now is the time to lift our voices. Now is the time to come before him in prayer to see God move. We say, Melech Ozer Umashiu Umagen. He is our king. He is our helper. He is our savior. He is our shield. God, be their Magen. Be the shield to Israel. Shield Israel from any, any fatalities from these attacks. Protect Israel, Lord. Be their Ozer. Be their helper. Help them to shoot down these missiles. Lord, you supernaturally can use your hand to guide these missiles into the sea. Just like you miraculously did last time, not one Israeli was killed, God. We're praying for the same results, supernatural divine protection. We pray Psalm 91. We say, Yoshe Beseter El Elyon, you who dwell... In the shadow of the Most High, but Sel Shadayit Lonan, in the shadow of the Almighty Lord, protect Israel from these three waves of attacks that are coming from Iran. We say, Omar la Adonai Machsi Umitsudati. Elohai Eftachbo, I will say of the Lord, who is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Abba Father, Yeshua, we have no other fortress. We have no other refuge. We have no other protector. It is in you we place our hope. Ki hu yatsi lecha mipach yakush. That who he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. From, from the pestilence. God, protect us from this attack. We say, God, you will cover us underneath your pinions and under your wings we shall take refuge. We thank you, Sina. We thank you that you are our refuge. You are our strength. It is in you, God, that we find our comfort. You the Most High. No evil will before you, no, nor will any plague come into your house. Lo te une elecha ra'a, the negalo yikarav beholachecha. Lord, no, it will not come into our tent. So, Lord, we just pray right now in the name of Yeshua, ki ata adonai machsi, for, for the Lord is our refuge. For the Lord is our refuge, and you will recompense the wicked. Ki malachav, you will give your angels charge over us. Yitzave lacha, give your angels charge over Israel. Adonai Tzavod, you are the Lord of the army of the hosts of heaven. And we pray right now in the name of Yeshua that you would send your angels to deflect those missiles you are the ultimate defender. You are the ultimate shield of Israel. So we say that you are the one who guards Israel. We say, Esa Enai Elhehari, may I in Yavosri. We lift our eyes to the hills. 
Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Lord, Israel is is in your need. There are sirens across Israel that are sounding right now, Lord. Israelis are running to their bomb shelters. But we say we will load Tirah. We will not fear because we know who our God is. From, From Pharaoh to Haman to Hitler, Lord, they have risen up to try and destroy us. But your word is true. Your promise is true that no one can curse what you have blessed. No one can destroy the people who you have made covenant with. So we stand together, Jew and Gentile, united in Messiah. We lift our eyes to you. We lift our hands to you. We lift our voices to you in this year 5785, the year of the pay, the year of the mouth. We thank you, Abba, that in this year of the mouth, our mouths are powerful. We make declarations. We call for things that are not as if they were. We say that the 400 missiles now that have been launched by Iran at Israel, we say, God, that those missiles will not wreak devastation. We say those those missiles will not lead to great destruction. We say, God, that you are going to protect Eretz Israel, that you are going to protect the land of Israel, that you are going to protect the nation of Israel, that you are going to protect the lives of your people. We thank you that there is power in our pay, that there is power in our voice, that there is power, God, coming together. There are explosions, Lord, all over Israel, but in the air, who knows, God, what is being hit right now? Who knows what is the result? But we know, God, that Israel will stand. And we ask, God, that this evil Iranian regime, not the people, but the Ayatollahs of Iran, that the Islamic extremists of Iran, we say their days are numbered. We say their time is coming. Just like Nasrallah was taken out, we pray, God, that you would strike, that you would strike with your mighty hand, Ayatollah Khomeini. We pray that you would strike every one of the Islamic leaders of Iran. We pray, God, that you would show your Yad Hazakah, the Zeroanitiyah, that you would show your mighty hand, that you would show your outstretched arm. We ask, God, that this would be the opening, that this would be the opportunity once and for all, to destroy the nuclear program of Iran, Lord, to destroy the oil fields of Iran, to destroy everything in Iran that keeps this government going. Protect the innocent Iranians, Lord. You love the Persian people. We love the Persian people, Lord. But the, but, but the arrogant, the ignorant, the anti-Semitic, the spirit of Amalek, that territorial spirit Haman, who was a descendant of Amalek, the first person to attack Israel when they came out of Egypt, the arch enemy of your people. You say in scriptures, your hand is at war against Amalek in every generation, Lord. We pray that the the Yad, the Yad Hashem, the hand of God, that you would work now, that you would work now against the Iranians. They are the ones sponsoring Hamas. They are the ones sponsoring Hezbollah. We're just asking now, God, that they, by this attack, would seal their fate. We proclaim their doom. We say this is the year that the Iranian regime is going to fall, that it is going down, and the people of Iran are going to be set free, that the people in Lebanon, God, who are under this demonic, who are under this wicked control of the Jewish people who have shot 8,000 missiles at Israel since October 7th. We say, God, Hamas, Hezbollah, the Iranian regime, we ask, God, that it would begin to tumble, that it would begin to fall in the name of Yeshua. We lift our voices to you, God. Make our voices like a sword. Respond to our prayers, God. We thank you that you promise that you will give your angels charge over your people. We thank you, God. Lord, we pray, God, against the extensive scope of these missiles that have been launched, God. Show yourself powerful. Show yourself strong. Show yourself mighty, Lord. 
We lift our voices to you. We recite again, Al Shachal. You will tread upon the lion, Tirdo. Upon the young lion, on the serpent, you will trample under your feet. We pray, God, that the serpent of Iran would be tread under our feet, under your feet, God, that you would do this. You say, Yikra Eni, you say, call upon me, and you say, I will answer you. I will answer you. I will be with you. Anochi b'tzara. I will be with you in your time of distress. Be with Israel in their time of distress. You say in Psalm 91, I will rescue him and I will bring him honor. God, we pray that this would be a time that you would rescue Israel and that you would bring, it, that you would bring yourself honor, Lord that you would show that you are more powerful, that the gods of the Iranians are false gods, Lord, that the gods of the Iranians is, is as of nothing. He is nothing compared to the God who made the heavens and earth. He is nothing compared to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We will not live in fear. We will live by faith because we know who you are. We know that you, Yeshua, as the Messiah, as the true King of Israel, as the true King of the Jews, when you gave your life on that tree, when you died and rose from the dead, you disarmed principalities and powers that your kingdom will come on earth as it is in heaven. We say, Orech Yamim, Orech Yamim, Ashbi Ehu, with long life I will satisfy him. There are Ehu Bishuati, and I will make him behold my salvation. May the Iranians behold your salvation. May the Lebanese behold your salvation of Israel. May the entire world behold the salvation that only comes from you. May the world know that there are, there is a God in Israel, Lord. May this be the ultimate folly of the Iranian people, not the Iranian people, of the, of the mullahs and the ayatollahs in Iran, Lord, to lead to their downfall. Esa enai el hehari may I in Yahweh esri. I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? Ezri may im Adonai. My help comes from the Lord. O say shemayim ve'aretz. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. El yitain lamot raglecha. I will not allow your foot to be moved. Al yanum shomrecha. He that watches over you does not slumber, does not slumber nor sleep. Adonai shomrecha. The Lord is your keeper. Keep Israel, Lord. Protect Israel. Adonai Tzilecha. The Lord is your shade. Al Yad Yeminecha. On your right hand. Yomam Hashemish. The sun by day. Lo Yakecha. And the, and the moon. The Yerach by night. Will not smite you, will not harm you. Adonai Yishmerach HaMekol Ra, the Lord will keep you from all evil. Yishmor Et Nafshecha, the Lord will guard your soul. God, every soul, Lord, Jewish, Messianic Jewish, Christian, Palestinian, Muslim, everyone in Israel, Lord, guard them, guard every innocent life. Adonai Yishmar say Techa Uvoecha. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in. May Atavi Adolam. We pray for the Chayalim. We pray for the soldiers of Israel. That you would guard their going out. Yishmar say Techa Uvoecha. And they're coming in. Boachem le shalom. No, sechem le shalom. May they go out in your shalom, in your divine protection. 
and Boacham Shalom. May they come home in peace. Lord, we just lift up the situation to you, God. We pray, God, give chokhmah, bina, da'at, wisdom, insight, and discernment, God, to all of the Israeli leadership, to pres- the Prime Minister Netanyahu, to Defense Minister Gallant, to the entire cabinet. Give them wisdom. We pray, God, for the koach. We pray for the strength. We pray for the courage, God, to strike at the heart of Iran, to strike their nuclear capabilities, to strike their oil infrastructure, God. We pray that you would protect them from strikes from the Houthis, that you would protect them from strikes from the Iranian proxies in in Iraq and in Iran. We pray, God, that your mighty hand would move. We pray that the hearts of Israel would be strong, Abba Father. We just speak and think about the words of Joshua. Rock Hazak. Rock Hazak. Only be strong. Ve'ematz me'od. And extremely courageous. We declare that over every Israeli, over all of the military. Rock Hazak. Ve'ematz me'od. Great strength and great courage. Lishmur la'asot. Kechol ha-Torah to do according to everything that is in your Torah. We pray, God. We pray, lo yamush, that we will not turn. Sefer ha-Torah chazeh mimecha. We will not turn from your word. Halo sivitecha chazak ve'ematz. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear. Do not fear. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Lord, be with, be with Israel wherever they go, God. Be with Israel wherever they go. We pray, God, against terrorist attacks right now in Israel. It seems, and news is coming out, that there might be some terrorists that are taking advantage of the situation. God, strike them dead now in the name of Yeshua. We pray for every terrorist that seeks to attack now. May your mighty hand smite them from heaven as you smote the Amalekites, as you smote the Canaanites, as you smote all the nations that came against Israel, as you smote the Philistines, God, may your mighty hand smite them, Lord, in the name of Yeshua, God. We pray that as you are with Joshua, we ask that you would be with Am Yisrael, be with the people of Israel. We pray for the terrorist attack right now on a hotel in Herzliya, God. We pray, God, that the the terrorists would be neutralized. We pray, God, that there wouldn't be loss of life. We pray right now in the name of Yeshua, your protection over the people, your protection over over Jerusalem, Shalu Shalom Yerushalayim, your protection over Herzliya, your protection over Galilee, your protection... We declare, God, protection over Tiberias. Protection over every major city now in the land of Israel in the name of Yeshua, God. We pray for your protection over Jaffa. We pray for your protection over the Negev. We pray for your protection over Beersheba. We pray for your protection over Elat. We pray for your protection over all of these cities now in the name of Yeshua. We pray for your protections from the north to the south. We pray, God, that you who watch over Israel neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, we just lift up this situation. We pray for this situation. We pray, God, that that your strong arm, that your mighty hand would move. 
Again, we thank you that you are Melech, that you are the king. We thank you that you sit in the heavens and laugh, that the nations take their stand against the Lord and against his anointed one. Lord, they're a joke. Iran is a joke. These terrorists are a joke. Ultimately, they're a joke. Yes, they might inflict some pain in the moment, but God, you will have your way. They will not win. They will not be defeated, and we will not live in fear because you are near. So we lift our, we lift our eyes to you. We lift our hands to heaven. We lift our hearts to Lord, and we lift our voices to pray for Israel. We lift our voices for the people of Israel right now. And I pray that the body of Messiah around the world would arise and stand with your people, God. We pray against, Lord, this attack on Demona, Lord, where the nuclear facilities are, protection over the nuclear power plant in Israel, Lord. We pray for your protection over the nuclear power plant, over the Israeli army bases right now, Lord. God, you know how serious this situation is. I pray against the spirit of anti-Semitism, Lord. I pray against the spirit of anti-Semitism now in the name of Yeshua, the anti-Semitism among the nations, the anti-Israel, anti-Zionism, anti-Jewish that, that says Israel has no right to exist, that makes these lies and false accusations against the Jewish people. Lord, I pray, God, for a spirit of teshuvah, a spirit of repentance over the church, over the body of Messiah. There are so many who in the church that have, are standing against Israel that have bought the lies of the mainstream media that are being spoken and bought the lies of the Islamic propaganda. We pray against that right now. Opens people's eyes, open people's hearts, hearts turn them towards you. We lift all of this up to you in the name of Yeshua God. We say any enemy that rises up against Israel is going to fall, that you are standing with your people as the mountains are around Jerusalem, you are around your people, Lord. We say this is a time that giants are gonna fall. We say the giant of Iran is going to fall. It is their time. This was, may this be their fatal mistake, God. May this be their fatal mistake. And may Israel live in shalom, peace. You are their security, God. We trust in you. We don't even trust in the military. We don't trust in the military. We don't trust in help from nations. We trust in you and you alone, God. You are the one who has sustained us throughout the generations. God, we pray, expose the wickedness of Tehran. Expose the wickedness of the Ayatollahs. We pray, God, for their economic lifeline to crumble, God. We pray, God, for there to be an uprising in Iran against the leadership there. Yes, I, I, with Karina, I agree with my Lebanese sister. We pray against the end of this wicked Haman Amalek regime. We say it is time that it is going to fall, that it is going to crumble, that it will not last. We pray, God, for what's going on in Lebanon. We pray for what is going on in Lebanon. We pray for protection over all of the innocent Lebanese. God, free Lebanon from the evil control of Hamas in Iran. Free the people, free the Christians there, Lord, who live under this tyranny, Lord. We pray, God, free them, free Lebanon. Do a great work there, Lord. We ask, Abba, Father, Avinu Malkenu, our Father and our King, we plead before you as your children, hear our voice, hear our voice. We thank you, God, that from the Iranian attack so far, Lord, there is no casualties being reported. We thank you, God, that you are showing yourself mighty, but we pray for a devastating, we pray for an overwhelming destruction in Iran. We pray, God, for the protection of the innocent lives, but we pray for the destruction of their nuclear program. We pray for the destruction of their missiles. We pray for a destruction of their military facilities. We pray for a destruction, God, 
of their oil industry until the people are free of the evil Ayatollah Khomeini of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard. May you strike them down in the name of Yeshua. Lord, I, I want to pray. Lord, it would be nice if they would repent. It would be nice if they'd give their hearts to you. But it seems, God, they have hardened their hearts like Pharaoh has hardened their hearts. It seems as if, God, they don't want to change their wicked ways. They seem to believe this is the way for them to bring their Mahdi, to bring their version of the Messiah. We pray, God, he will not come. He is a fraud. He is a fake. He is not real. Demonic beliefs. But we know who is real. We know Yeshua is seated on the throne of heaven. We know that he is the king of kings. We know that he is the Lord of Lord. We, Lord of Lords, he will not be mocked. That this is the time when God created the world. I don't think it is any surprise that tomorrow evening begins Rosh Hashanah. Wednesday, Wednesday night, it's known as Yom Hadin, the day of judgment. Judgment is coming. In fact, this is the year of the window. One of the things I'm going to be sharing tomorrow night, year of the window, one of the things that windows represent is judgment. Lord, pour out your judgment. There is a judgment that is coming into the world this year, a judgment of wickedness, a judgment of evil, a judgment of the sex traffickers like we see going on in the media, in the elites. So we pray, God, pour out your judgment. Pour out the cup of reeling for the nations. God, again, Melech Ozer Mashiach again. You are our king. You are our helper. You are our savior. You are our shield. I see my Israeli brother, Shalom Achi, Emmanuel Raro, who's going to be with us tomorrow night. Friends, tomorrow night, join us online. Tomorrow night, join us in person. Thousands are going to be with us. Ushering Rosh Hashanah. Now more than ever, we need to crown him king. Now more than ever, we need to declare God as creator. We need to declare God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now more than ever, we're tomorrow night, we have a time dedicated to praying for Israel, being led by our Israeli brother and worship leader, Emmanuel Roro. We're excited about that. We are going to join hearts. We are going to join hands. Listen, Rosh Hashanah is a day, it's an appointed time. There is an appointed time. And I believe it is an appointed time that God is going to show up this year in ways we've not seen in past years. God is doing something in the world. This is a critical moment in history. This is a moment where the Esthers need to arise. This is a moment where the Mordechai, Mordechai needs to arise to stand for Israel, to go before the king. There was a decree against the Jewish people in modern-day Iran from Haman and the king of Persia, and yet Esther and Mordechai prayed, and they fasted, and they interceded, and God heard, and he turned the heart of the king of Persia, and Haman was hung on his own gallows, and so we are believing that the missile attack against Israel is going to turn back on the head of the, uh, of this, of the evil Iranians. And you'll protect, um, protect Israel, Lord. Protect Israel. And we pray, God, that even as Esther and Mordechai turn the heart of the king, listen, Lord, we don't look to turn the hearts of presidents of nations or kings of nations. Lord, we intercede and ask to turn your heart, to turn your heart, to remember your people, Am Yisrael, to remember your people, Israel, to remember Eretz Israel. It says in the Torah that your eyes are upon the land from the Reshit, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Lord, may your eyes be upon Israel. May we see, yes, I agree with you, Lisa, divine reversals. We say that all of the destruction that was planned for Israel 
will lead to its construction. We pray for an outpouring of your Ruach upon Israel. Pour out your Ruach. Pour out your Spirit upon the Israeli people, God. Turn their hearts towards you. Turn their hearts back to the Mashiach. Turn their hearts back to Messiah Yeshua. May there be a great spiritual awakening in Israel. May there be a great spiritual revival. May the breath of Ezekiel 37, the great and massive spiritual awakening, the breath of God coming upon the dry bones. May you breathe upon the dry bones, God. Breathe upon the dry bones, Lord. We ask God. We ask, Lord. I pray, God, that you would revival among Israel, a revival in America, Lord. Lord, we pray, God, for the Iranians who are seeing that their attack is not working. Lord, I pray that they would not find a way to be more successful. Lord, confound them. We pray for a spirit of foolishness. We pray for a spirit of stupor. We pray for a spirit of stupidity to fall on the leader, the military leaders and the political leaders of Iran, of all of the Iranian proxies, God. May you give them a spirit of dumbness, a spirit of foolishness, a spirit of miscalculation. We pray, God, that they'd be hung on their own gallows, just like Haman created the gallow for Mordecai. We pray that this would be the gallow. This would be the gallow that Khomeini is hung on. That this would be a gallow that the IRG leadership would be hung on, that the people of Iran would once and for all be free in the name of Yeshua, because the one whom the Son sets free is free indeed. So Lord, we lift all of this up to you, and we pray God for a divine move, a divine move. We just lift this up to you, Lord. We thank you. Lord, we pray for a spiritual awakening even greater than the one that's going on among the Iranian people. We pray for tens of millions of Iranians to come to know Yeshua as the Messiah. We pray, God, for millions of Lebanese to come to know Yeshua as the Messiah, God. We proclaim, draw ye cry. We proclaim freedom. This is a time of freedom on the Jewish calendar. This is a time at Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. The trumpet was the sound that signal, signalized the slave going free in the sabbatical year, on the year of Jubilee. It's on Rosh Hashanah that Joseph was released from the prison to the palace. Release Israel, God, from this prison of terrorism, from this prison, uh, prison of, that Iran is trying to put us in, and release the Iranian, the Lebanese. We even pray, God, for the Palestinian people, God, who have been hijacked by Islamic extremists in the form of Hamas, in the form of Islamic Jihad, in the form of all of these other radical Islamic groups that don't care about the well-being of the Palestinian people. Because if they did, they would be building schools, they would be building hospitals, they would be building uh, the educational infrastructure that led to the prosperity of the people, but instead they're building bombs, instead they're building terror tunnels. Lord, free the Palestinians. A great revival among the Palestinian people now in the name of Yeshua, our Messiah. We pray blessing, blessing God, blessing over the Arab peoples, salvation over the Arab peoples, Lord, salvation over Israel, Lord. We say now is the time, as it says, arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. Let them flee from before your presence, God. We pray for a manifestation of the Shekhinah, of the divine manifestation of your, of, your, of your kavod, of your glory. We pray, God, that you are Sukkot Yisrael, that you are the Sukkah of Israel. You are the canopy over Israel. You are the protection over your people, God, that you are our salvation. We say, Hine el Yeshua ti. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. Ki azi v'zimrat ya v'ahi li Yeshua. 
For the Lord my God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Ki azi. Lord, be the strength to Israel at this moment. We pray Israel will not lose heart. Lord, we pray for a strategic We pray for a targeted. We pray for a powerful. We pray for an overwhelming response from Israel on Iran. Take out their communications. Take out their military capabilities. Take out their financial resources, God. Take out, Lord, uh, their oil, Lord, May, they, may the God of Israel thunder from heaven. May the God of Israel thunder. May you move, God. We pray now, Lord. We pray, Abba, Father, that your heart would be moved, Lord. You have seen how much Israel has endured and how much they're enduring, how much hatred, how much, Lord, there is a bloodlust for the destruction of your state, Lord. Lord, we ask that you would do this, not because we're worthy, but because you're worthy, Lord. Not because we deserve it, God, but because you made a covenant, you made a promise, and we pray, God, on the breach, on the covenant you made, we pray that you would show yourself faithful, God, that you would show your providential mighty hand. Would you show that you are the one that is in control, that no nation of the world, no leader in the world is going to determine the destiny of Israel, the destiny of your chosen people, or the destiny of the church. Not only have these Lord radical extremists been attacking Israel, they have been systematically trying to destroy Christianity in the church throughout the Middle East. And Lord, we say enough is enough. We pray in your righteous indignation. We say, Sedeku Mishpat, righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. We pray, God, that your righteousness, that your justice on this Yom Hadin, at this day of judgment, that there would be a righteous judgment that is released upon the enemies of Israel, upon the enemies of the church. Lord, we pray, we're not praying, God, for it to be punitive. We're not praying for punishment, Lord. We're praying that your judgment would be redemptive, that it would be redemptive in the sense, God, that, that it would cause them to turn from their wicked ways and embrace the God of the Bible, to embrace the true God, to to forsake their false religions, to forsake their false beliefs, God, that they would they would be, that 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 their eyes would be open, that the scales would fall from the eyes in the Arab world, that the scales would fall from the eyes in the Jewish world, God, just like you did. For Rabbi Paul on the road to Damascus, may sky, may scales fall, may eyes be opened. May this be the time for a great outpouring, a great revival, the greatest revival the Middle East has ever known. May this be the time of your salvation. May God, the destruction of these evil regimes lead God to the freedom to openly embrace the Messiah that the great revival that is going on in Persia, within Iran, that the underground church, the believers that have to be fearful for their lives, knowing they'll be killed if they go public. But there are millions that have come to faith that the church in Iran would arise, that it would be free to be who you've called it and created to be, that it would be free to be an Or HaOlam God, Yes, I agree with you, Kareen. We pray against that replacement theology. We pray against that replacement theology. It seems as if more rockets are being launched from Iran now. Lord, we pray, God. We pray again for protection over Israel. We pray, God, against the lies of, that are being told in the media. We're praying against the lies of that are leading to an anti-Israel belief to replacement theology. We pray, God, we pray, God, that the supreme leader of Iran thinks he can hide in a bunker, that he thinks he can move to a safe place, God. 
Lord, there is no place that is safe from you. There is nowhere that anyone can go. There is nowhere that anyone can hide that you can't find them. You know where they are, God. And you can end their life by a missile. You can end their life by a heart attack. You can end their life any way that you want to. So we say, God, we pray when Israel went in in the days of Joshua, in the days of Gideon, it says that you put your fear upon the people and their hearts melted like wax. We pray for a dread and a fear to come upon the leadership of Iran, the leadership of every terrorist organization in the Middle East, that they should live in fear knowing that they are not safe, that their days are numbered, that it's if, it's not if, it's only when. And we pray today would be the day, now would be the time. Am Yisrael Chai, the people of Israel live. O Davinu Chai, Am Yisrael Chai, O Davinu Chai. The people of Israel live because our Father in heaven lives. We survive for one reason. Our Father in heaven, our Messiah in heaven, Yeshu who sits at the right hand of the Father, who makes intercession for his people. We ask Adonai, Adonai Elohim, Lord God, do it now. Do it now. Deliver now. We say, Ana Adonai Hoshiana. Ana Adonai Haslechana. Lord, grant deliverance now. We pray, Lord, grant salvation now in the name of Yeshua, our Messiah. Lord, we pray, God, that you would move now. In the name of Yeshua, we just lift these things up to you, God. We lift these things up to you. Ana Adonai Hoshiana. Lord, we just pray, God. Psalm 118. Hodu Ladonai Kitov. Ki Leolam Hazdo. In the midst of this, God, we give thanks to you for you are good and your loving kindness endures forever. Yomar Na Yisrael. Ki Leolam Hazdo. Let all Israel say his loving kindness endures forever. Yom ru na veit aharon ki leolam hazdo. Let the house of Israel say your loving kindness endures forever. Yom ru na yireodonai ki leolam hazdo. Let those who fear the Lord say your loving kindness endures forever, God. We pray for the children in the bomb shelters. We pray, God, for the elderly in the bomb shelters. We pray for the sick in the infirm in the bomb shelters, God, protect them now in the name of Yeshua, every Israeli, min ha-meitzar, karatiya, out of the straits from the narrow places I called to you. Ananoni, you answered me with expansiveness. Adonai li, the Lord is with me. Lo ira, what shall we fear? The Lord is with us. What shall we fear? But Ozrai, Maya Aseli Adam, what can man do to us? Adonai Li, the Lord is with me. But Ozrai, He is my helper. Lord, you are our helper. The Ani Er Et Bishonai, for I will see, I will gaze upon those who hate me. Tov. Lechasot ba'adonai. Tov lechasot adonai. We will take refuge in Adonai, the Lord. Bibtoach ba'adam. I will take refuge in the Lord. It is better to trust in the Lord than to trust in a person. Tov lechasot ba'adonai. It is better to take refuge in the Lord. Mibtoach bindivin, then to, to, to trust in princes, to trust in the governmental leaders of the world. Ko goyim sevavuni, all of the nations surrounded me. Beshem and I, ki amilam, all of the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. 
Lord, all the nations of the Middle East are surrounding us. But in the name of the Lord, Iran, Hezbollah, Hamas, the Houthis, we will cut them down. Savavuni, Gam, Sivavuni. They encompass me. Yes, they encompass me. Beshem Adonai Ki Amilam. But in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. Sivavuni Kid Vorim. They encompass me like bees. Doahu Ke'esh Kotsim. But they are quenched like a, a crown of fiery thorns. Beshem Adonai Ki Amilam. But in the name of the Lord, we cut them down. Azi Bezimratya. The Lord is my strength in my song. By healing Yeshua, he has become my salvation. We say that the moment of attack, that the moment of persecution, yes, it's hard right now, but we know Kohina Yeshua. But there will be the sound of rejoicing, the sound of salvation in the tents of the righteous. Yamin Adonai Osachayil. Yamin Adonai Osachayil. That your right hand, O Lord, will do valiantly. Lo Amut. We will not die. But we will live. The Asa Per Maaseya. We will live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. Lord, we will declare your works in the midst of this. We will declare your works during it. We will declare your works afterward, that your hand is going to move. Pihuli Sharit Sedek. Open. For us, the gates of righteousness on this Rosh Hashanah, on this uh, during the Yamim Noraim, on this day, Avovam Odeya, that we will enter in and give thanks to you. We thank you, God. Zehashar la Adonai. This is the gate of the Lord. Tzadikim Yavo Uvo. The righteous enter in and give thanks to you. Evan. Uh, ado, uh, we thank you, God. Evan ma asu abonim hayitave rosh pina. Evan ma asu abonim hayitave rosh pina. The stone which the builders have rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Yeshua, you have been rejected, but you have been, are, and will be, and will be acknowledged as the chief cornerstone. The rosh pina. Zehayom Asa Adonai. This is the day that you have made. Despite the rockets, despite the threats, despite the attacks, we say Zehayom Asa Adonai. This is the day you have made. You weren't taken by surprise. Nagilab and Ismechabo. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what happens, we will rejoice and be glad in this day, Lord, because you are going to act and we're heading into your appointed times. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. That's you, Yeshua. May you be blessed from the house of God. El Adonai Vayeer Lanu. El Adonai Vaya Er Lanu. The Lord is God and He has given us light. We thank you, God. Isru Chag. Order the festival procession with bows, even with the Ad Kar 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 even with the horns of the altar. Eliata the Odecha. Lord, this is a festival time, Lord, and we will worship you. Eli Ata, you are my God, and I will give thanks to you. Eli Ata Odecha, you are our God, and we will give thanks to you. Elohai Aromimecha, and we will exalt you. We will exalt you in the midst of everything that's going on. Hodu Ladonai Ki Tov 
Ki leolam chazdo. We give thanks to you for you are good and your kindness endures forever. Yes, Adonai Nisi, be the banner over Israel, be their defense, be their protector, be their shelter, be the shade in which they take refuge. It's in you we trust. So in the name of Yeshua, move God, move powerfully. Pray for Israel. Stand with Israel. Friends, I believe now more than ever we need to join voices. Friends, now more than ever, part of the key is Jew and Gentile uniting in Messiah, standing together, understanding the prophetic nature of this time and season, declaring God's promises in alignment with this new year, 5785, this decade of the pay of the mouth that we're in, declaring God as king over the world. Friends, join us tomorrow night. Join us tomorrow night. Uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Pacific. 8 p.m. Central. 9 p.m. Eastern. You can join us online. FusionGlobal.org. Check out our... Sign up for our live Rosh Hashanah service. We're going to be having... Messianic musician Emmanuel Roro. We're going to be having other musicians and worship leaders. We're going to be having leaders from across the Los Angeles area join us from all different backgrounds. We're going to be having a local uh, Spanish speaking pastor, my African American brother, a number of different communities joining us. Big shout out to Light, big shout out to the church that's hosting us, friends. Check it out online. We pray for your protection. Thank you for praying for us from Pakistan. Let us know where you're praying for Israel from. Would you pray for us for protection over our servers? We've taken a bold stand here. Pray God for you to, for God to watch over us. Pray that the word would go forth. Pray God that that believers would be awakened God to what it is that you're doing in this time and season. Pray for a great move of God. We ask God that you we ask that you would join us, Lord. We ask that we move on people's hearts to join us. We ask that you would join us. Join us in praying. We gotta, friends, we gotta set the right foundation for this year. Rosh Hashanah sets the foundation. We blow the shofar. We blow the ram sword. In fact, I'm gonna blow the shofar now in a minute, okay? Because the sound of the shofar is the sound of victory. The walls of Jericho fell at the sound of the shofar. It's the sound that put the fear into the hearts of, 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 the, of the enemies, Lord. It's a war cry. It's also the cry for our Messiah to return. He'll return with the sound of the great shofar. So friends, this sets the foundation for the year. I believe 85 is actually the numerical value in Hebrew of the word foundation. This is 5785, friends. Believers have to return to the foundation, the roots of their faith, the Jewish roots, Jew and Gentile, united in Messiah. This is key to the great move of God that is coming. We need to unite. So I really hope that you join us tomorrow. And um, so we just want to invite you to join us tomorrow. But also, friends, please be praying. This is such a, a critical time. So we just lift this up to you right now in the name of Yeshua. We just lift this up, Lord. We just pray. We blow the shofar. just pray we just blow that show for one more time it's hard to blow it when you're sitting down <laughs> anyway you get the point lord hear the sound of the shofar 
Hear the cries of your people as we're entering into the Feast of Trumpets, the time of the blowing of the shofar, Yom Teruah. Hear our prayers, hear our cries now. In the name of Yeshua, our Messiah, amen. We bless you now in Yeshua's name. Amen.